Fontana Rosa in New Jersey. I've been seeing their crazy pasta all over Instagram. It's going viral and I want to go see what all the hype is about. Let's go. The bracciolette pasta that we made today was inspired by my wife. I was making radiatory pasta one day and as I pulled it out, the shape of it itself had that zigzag shape and it reminded me of a bracelet that I had bought her when we were dating and we called it Michelle's Bracciolette. What happened was it's actually a, a dye that they call radiators. It looks like a little radiator and they cut it halfway and they stop it. And it just so happens that we let it run and it curled the first time and we made these little circles and it was like, oh, that's cool. And then we stretched it out really long and made it really, really long. And that zigzag shape is what kept us saying, wow, this really looks like something different, you know? And everybody loves grooves and everything else to hold saw. So that's when we said, wow, this looks like a bracelet. A lot of people love it. If you taste it, the mouthfeel is incredible. It's like, I don't know, it's funny because it's squiggly on your tongue. It's hard to explain, but it's really cool. All of these little divots just like coat your mouth and it feels so good on your tongue, which sounds weird, but oh. It's such a good feeling in your mouth to eat this. <laughs> That's my pride. I mean, I love my Italian heritage. We grew up, we still speak Italian in the deli. All the old stuff that my mother used to make when, you know, they were kids and pasta fazool and, and stuff like that. Yes, you spoiled us. Pasta fazool, different things that we try to bring back. Like every day you get to play with Play-Doh. It's like the most fun I can ever do. I put something in and it comes out in all different shapes, so I, I have a blast with it. So I never work a day in my life, actually. <laughs>